Hey guys, so I just wanted to make a quick video with you while well, I still had some sunlight. Um, I have obviously been going through a lot of changes here recently. I don't really feel like it's me putting all my business out on social media. I guess, I guess it's more or less me sharing my version of my story with you guys. Um, there are many many stories out there like mine but nobody has my version so I am here to share my version with you because the next person's may not be what you were looking for so my goal is to not you know have all these viewers my goal is to really reach one person if that's what it takes so this is my journey um, I've changed my name. It is now Deja. Um, that was something that kind of was a deal breaker for me. I told myself I'm not changing my name. And in me telling myself that, I was rejecting myself the right to who I was. And I, in some ways, was so scared to take that final step because... If I'm Darren, I'm Darren, and I don't have to worry about being anybody else. But I think in this new part of my life, I'm not Darren anymore. And I'm going to grieve him, and I'm going to always remember who he was. But now I am her, and I am Deja, and it's going to be something that is educated. Um, I try to put my my struggles behind me and I try to put my I try to put my awareness of people's ignorance behind me because it only brings me down and I try to take their ignorance and turn it into love. So when I am being hated against or, you know, hate is being thrown at me, my, my initial reaction is to reciprocate with love and, you know, knowledge. That is me. And other people may not react in the same way, but I am not going to make you understand me anymore if I am reciprocating hate back at you. So, you know, my journey has been fully just embracing my natural self and the pace that it needed to go. So, I'm finally here. I know that it's like, oh, 18 years, but I've went 18 years wanting to be a woman. And I've went 18 years, you know dressing up in dresses at kindergarten and being attracted to girls' makeup and girls' clothes and everything woman and growing up as this, as everybody said, a woman trapped in a man's body. And I thought about that so hard at one point. I was like, how is that possible? I, I love my God and I think he's truly amazing. And it's not that I doubted him. It was just that, how could this happen to me? Everybody is telling me that this is a choice. But I am waking up every day and seeing a man, but feeling a woman and almost seeing a woman, almost forgetting in moments that I'm a man and having to withdraw myself from certain situations because of who I was because I was almost woman but not woman enough and when you think about it like that it's sad because I was for so long fighting to be this woman and I was not giving myself enough credit so here I am I'm giving myself all the credit and I'm taking that next step and I'm telling the world that, you know, my name is Deja um, and this is my story. This is my journey. I 
hope to soon, really soon, start my hormones. And I think that's when it's really all going to go down. So, yeah.